What's up, guys? It's Rob here, and we have some good news regarding CEI stock. I know a lot of you probably saw that it was up massively yesterday, and it looks like we have someone to thank. Let's look at this tweet from Mr. Zach Morris that pumped CEI up so much yesterday. CEI, I'm back in here for a run back. Nothing changed. So we have Zach Morris back on the CEI train as of yesterday, right? Uh, around this time, he posted this tweet, as well as many call options were purchased for this stock, which uh, successfully pumped us up about 14% in just a couple of minutes. Very bullish. And since then, we've actually been trending up. You can see that we've been making higher lows. And let's get the ellipse tool out and just show you guys we have been making higher lows on this stock. So very good to see that we have just been climbing, right? We've now made a double bottom today around a buck seventy, very close to it. And we are really struggling to break this dollar eighty level. Okay, this dollar eighty level is something that we've been struggling with for a long time. Now, if you look back over the past thirty days, you can see that on the massive short report that we got, we got pumped way down, all the way. I mean, we were above three dollars at the time, and we just got shot down all the way to eighty six cents. Now we're kind of getting stuck in this range, right, of dollar forty to a dollar eighty. Uh, we have tried breaking out in both directions and have been unable to multiple times and we just keep returning to this area. Now, I think that Zach Morris, now that he's back in this, could potentially be the catalyst that could get us out, right? Because he's the catalyst that really got us running up massively in the first place. If you look at the past 90 days, he's really what inspired this massive run up in stock price. And now that he's back and now the Carousel Capital uh, has already done their short report and has pushed us down as much as they could on this massive coordinated effort on institutions parts. I think that a lot of them are done with this manipulation, although not entirely done. We're going to look at the short interest for this stock and some dark pool data in just a second. But I think that the most important thing to realize is that now that Zach Morris is back in, he did successfully pump this thing up massively in just uh, with one tweet, essentially, right? As well as the fact that some call options were bought, pumping this stock up a lot. Uh, but you can see that he hasn't tweeted that much about CEI since then. So I think that his next tweet could actually uh, be really good, right? He did say one more thing, CEI $3 plus, but that was shortly after uh, his initial tweet, right? He tweeted these things uh, with only a minute in between the two of the tweets. So uh, he has tweeted about CEI again, but only one more time. And it did actually probably continue to pump the stock up, right? If we look down at the one minute chart, you can see this was 10.08 when he initially released the tweet. And then this was 10.09. So we did continue moving up uh, on his second tweet. So I think that there is some room to run, especially if Zach Morris tweets out again something today. We could potentially be breaking through a buck eighty. He's calling for three dollars plus. That would bring us back near all time highs, right? Uh, we would like to get above four dollars, but that's something to worry about later. Now, for the short interest on this stock, you can see that we are down massively off of the highs that we were at, and it's worth noting that at one point, Ortex had incorrect data for the stock, right? We were actually uh, marked on Ortex as having a short interest around. I think it was 50 or 60%. And now it's saying that the peaks that we ever reached of short interest as a percentage of the free float were 23.4%. And that Ortex has corrected itself, right? It said in a tweet uh, that, you know, they had incorrect numbers for the outstanding shares and that based on a new SEC filing that CEI put out, they updated those numbers and corrected the short interest. Obviously, you know, everyone, uh, all of these short interest calculators were a little off because they just didn't know how many shares outstanding of CEI there were. So it's not just an Ortex problem, it's a pretty much everywhere problem uh, that was there but now has been resolved. So this is a more accurate number, around 7% of the free float has been shorted. That's not incredibly high, right? That's not incredibly high, uh, but that it's worth noting that a lot of shorts did cover when this thing dropped down massively, right? A lot of shorts were building up their positions when this thing was above $3 and when this thing crashed to below $1 at one point, uh, a lot of shorts probably covered right then. So uh, that's likely why there's not as much of a short interest as there once was. However, it doesn't mean that shorts won't be building back up their position. We're about to look at that. There has been a lot of dark pool volume for shorts, and we've actually not seen this much dark pool volume for shorts, which just happened yesterday, right? 119 million shares were shorted in dark pools uh, just yesterday because this thing was bumping up quite a bit, right? Moving to the upside, shorts were probably thinking that this would uh, then fade away and start faltering. However, you can see we have been making these higher lows, uh, very bullish actually, and shorts might be getting worried sometime soon, right? We'll actually have to see uh, what the short interest is tomorrow and the day after that uh, because it has been increasing. And you can see the last time that we had such high short volume 
uh, or yeah, such high short volume in dark pools was actually when we were having another pump up around here. Shorts tried manipulating this down uh, with short uh, shares, right? And it, it, it did actually end up pushing this down quite a bit. So it is worth noting that potentially the same thing could happen again. However, the difference between this time and what we're experiencing now is that this was immediately after a big crash. Obviously, there was going to be some kind of rebound, some kind of buying of the dip, and shorts were taking advantage of that, right? Because it wasn't the strongest pattern. There wasn't uh, the most momentum going into it uh, to get this thing moving back, and uh, shorts did put a very strong effort together to push this thing down with shorted shares, and they successfully did. It got us back into the dollar eighty zone where we were held down, unable to escape. That's when retail traders uh, likely admitted that we were back in this range and uh, probably started selling their shares as well, which was actually a good decision before, because it eventually moved even further to the downside. They could have re-entered there and uh, been making money as it's been moving up. Now that Zach Morris is back in this thing, though, I think that there could be some more catalysts coming for us. I think that he will likely be tweeting and uh, probably tweeting his friends, texting his friends maybe, who also have very influential Twitter accounts, and I think that they all together could really continue to pump this thing up. Uh, Zach Morris does have over 500,000 followers on Twitter, and you can see what just one tweet did to CEI's stock price. So it would not surprise me to see a big rebound in price if he tweeted out more. Now, you can see that CEI stock actually is getting more and more interest, not just on Twitter, right? Forget Twitter for a second. This is Google Trends. CEI stock has been trending up, right? We reached the maximum ranking of 100 at just 9 o'clock this morning, so it's been doing very well. I think that we're likely to continue this trend of increasing volume, increasing search volume for CEI stock, which will likely increase the real volume for CEI stock as more people uh, are searching for it, and it's recommended to more people. I think that that could really continue to move the stock price up. Uh, it seems like a very bullish pattern that we're seeing, uh, not just there, but also on apewisdom.io, a stock, uh, a website that tracks uh, the top uh, trending stocks on Reddit and Wall Street Bets. If you search for CEI, you can see that it is up 40 spots today at spot number 22 on this list. So the 22nd most talked about stock up 450% mention wise. And this thing is just getting started, right? Things on Reddit and Wall Street Bets take a while to warm up. Uh, it's tough to just pump things up to the number one spot instantly, but I do think that up 40 spots is a pretty good move to be making. We're obviously on an uptrend here. Uh, CEI will likely be discussed more and more on these forums. And as it is discussed more, more and more people are going to do research on it and realize why this thing is running. Likely look at Zach Morris. That will only get it trendy on Twitter even more. I think there's some really good moves to be made on other uh, forums, right? Like CEI is also trending the number four most talked about stock on stock twits. So it's just getting a lot of attention in a lot of places. And that is a great combination of catalysts to be moving us up. Uh, in addition to the fact that there are potentially going to be some gamma squeeze potential situations that we could have looking forward, right? There are now a lot of different strike dates, trading options for CEI stock. And the November 19th looks the most promising at the moment, right? Because this one is a monthly call option, uh, call option expiration. And I think that a lot of people will probably be piling in to the $2 and $3 uh, call options, right? We already have $17,002 call options and $12,003 call options. I think that if that continues and we start getting a lot more people involved in these call options and get very high volumes for those and very high open interests, most importantly, then if we do continue rising up in price, that could cause a real gamma squeeze for institutions that are expecting this thing to get pushed back down. There will likely be I will note, fierce resistance at $3, right? That's where we shot down massively from. It would not surprise me to see us running up all the way to three and then getting bounced down in a big way. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Uh, but it is worth noting that I do think that overall we will see a bullish trend, right? And it won't necessarily end at three, but I would just warn you guys, uh, based off the TA, right? We see a very strong support level at $3 right here. Until we were able to get shot down, we bounced off of it many times and it acted very well for us. And that means it's likely going to act as a very fierce resistance. That's just some TA right there. Uh, but it's worth noting, right, that $3 could be a very dangerous level. And maybe you want to consider dropping some shares off before if you're up a lot uh, and then picking them up maybe again if it uh, does bounce off of $3. That could be a good idea. That's just an idea. It's not financial advice. None of this is financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy the stock or sell the stock. Uh, I'm just telling you guys what I am thinking, what's my opinion on it. Um, and that's all I can do. So other than that, guys, that's what I have for you on CEI stock. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel and like it. Other than that, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.